using vape batteries to power loads of stuff. On the workbench today, using vape batteries to power a small mixing desk. This is a cracking little mixing desk, well, useful for small jobs. And uh, it uses PP3 batteries, little nine volt batteries. And unfortunately, one battery will only last about four or five hours in this mixing desk. So I thought, well, it's time to make use of some vapes. Disassembly. Big pair of pliers. And using a pair of pliers, we can easily pop out the batteries and the gubbins from inside those old vapes. So looking through my collection of various BMSs, I came across these. What we've got here, 20 amp, three cell, or 12 volt, 12.6 volt BMSs, a little bit too big. So having just peeled off all of the captain tape and get the soldering iron on these terminals, remove the old cables, and fit some nice new cables. And obviously, reapply some captain tape. <laughs> probably what we should have done is test all of these batteries first. The likelihood is, they're probably okay. And as long as they're reading around three volts or above, which this one is, then they're quite usable, 3.4 volts. So yeah, that's all looking really promising. And each one of these is a 5.5 milliwatt hour battery or 3.7 volts at 1500 milliamp hours. So yeah, nice little batteries actually. There's a way more power in these than there are in a nine volt PP3 cell. So hopefully the mixing desk should last for quite a lot longer with these inside of it. Let's go with the 20 amp, 12 volt device. Uh, this one's, uh, I'll tell you what, what's nice about this one, it's nice and easy to, to, to use as well, because you can see here, it's got uh, zero volts written on it, 4.2, 8.4 and 12.6. So uh, you can't, you can't get this one wrong, can you? Right, let's, uh, let's clean some of this lot up and see if we can, um, see if we can get a couple of these in, in uh, get these all in the appropriate holes. The stupid boy pike. And finally, the 12.6 volt connector. All soldered up. Okay, so how is this set up then? Well, ultimately, it's just one battery after the next battery after the next battery. In fact, it looks very similar to that right there. So just basically batteries all set up in series and connected to the appropriate uh, holes on the PCB. So all of that said, let's just connect up a meter. And there we go, yeah, we've got uh, nearly 10 volts coming out of that a BMS there. So that's good news. BMS looks like it's working. Ah, a little bit of screwdriver action. And we've gained access to our little mixing desk, which is reasonably nicely constructed. Lots of little capacitators and uh, uh, some lovely little single turn potentiometers. They're not Bourne's pots or anything like that. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, um, not a bad, uh, not a bad little construction. Considering this cost eighteen pounds, uh, I'm reasonably impressed with its performance so far. This is the PP3 connector here. What we'll do is we'll get rid of that completely. And uh, if you look here, uh, you can see it says 12 volt DC. So tying into the 12 volt DC connections actually gives us an, the added advantage that if we plug a 15 volt power supply into the back of this, it will automatically charge up our bank of batteries. And if I'm not mistaken, we should just about be able to find space for all of these in here but first things first let's uh let's make sure this is a little bit safer let's insulate everything really nicely let's uh tape everything up so i did the boring taping bit 
all the batteries are now taped up nicely. I've got a lovely big fat piece of heat shrink here, which is going, going to go over the PCB. So let's just go ahead and get these uh, cables soldered onto the PCB. Now, of course, you have to remember that this end of the cable is live. So I've taped up <laughs> one of the connectors because they're exposed. Let's see if we can get this uh, heat shrink sleeving over the PCB. Yeah, that looks promising. That actually looks like it might be quite nice. Now, I don't have a proper heat shrink uh, tool, so I just use, I use a, a lighter and I spread that flame around quite a bit. <laughs> exactly what we need. That's pretty much good enough for government work. Oh, a little bit warm. Oh, on the fingers. Cool. There we go. Batteries and a BMS PCB. Right, let's get that wired in. So we've established that this here is positive and this guy here is negative. And this guy here uh, connects the battery up when there's not a barrel jack pushed into the connector on the back. So, uh, yeah, that's how we want to get this wired up anyway. Straight to the barrel jack terminals. And once this is all wired up, then we have the ability to be able to charge the entire battery bank up with uh, uh, an IMAX battery charger or a 15 volt power supply, something along those lines. A bit of luck, you can see that there. Right, let's see. If we turn this on, do we get the blue LED? Ready? Yeah, happy days. We're now running off lithium ion reclaimed vape cells. Now let's see if we can fit all of that inside this device. Yeah, it's a little bit of a squish, but there we go. That's the, uh, that's the uh, battery management circuit. And we've got one, two, three cells all shoved in the place of that little nine volt battery. It's looking pretty busy in there, but uh, yeah, that will do the trick nicely connected up a little DC barrel jack here and we've gone in through the IMAX B6 charger uh, it's currently at 11 volts it's been on charge for eight minutes and it's sucked up 70 milliamps so that's good news everything looks like it's charging which is really really good news uh, this will be able to run my little homebrew power amplifier uh, I can plug my iPad in now I can, I can plug my uh, Akai MPC in there, my keyboard, my guitar, my bass guitar. This is fantastic. This is going to be uh, revolutionary for my open mic nights. <laughs> uh, over an hour later, and let's have a look. So yeah, this is this is charged up to twelve point two volts, and it's accepted nearly a th nearly a full amp hour of power. So yeah, these uh, these batteries are looking like they're in good nick. And there it is then, folks. Look at that. Everything is lithium-ion powered. So over here, we've got the uh, Atom power pack powering the MPC down here. Lovely little Akai MPC digital sampler and workstation. Absolutely love that piece of kit. We've now, thankfully, got our lithium-ion powered mixer. I'll show you inside the amplifier in a minute. There's a little speaker box that I made here with uh, a power tool battery in it driving it. And then, of course, we've got the battery-powered iPad here. And we can fire all of this... <laughs> Lovely jubbly, look at that. And then we can muck it all up. absolutely fantastic and yes happy days there we go all of that effort absolutely well worth it and uh, yeah I now have the ability to go out and about with all of this stuff and annoy people which is great fun nice to see some old vape batteries hang on here we go look at this loads of the damn things all 
strewn about outside, so I just collect them. But really good to see some of those old vape batteries getting reutilized and uh, uh, recycled and put to good use in pieces of equipment like this. Cool. Thanks. Take care, folks. Have a wonderful week and weekend, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, Biz. Bye for now.